and welcome to the best little home improvement show in the four states. Our opportunity to sit down with Denny Hydrick from Hydrick's True Value at 15th and National right here at Fort Scott. Talk about some great home projects and with the weather the way it is, with everything so nice outside. We're talking about getting your home ready for spring and for summer and for all the things that are going to be going on this year. And Denny, good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning. How you doing, Larry? I am doing well. I have got I've got a dirty house. Yeah. And I, on the outside. I don't want to, I don't well, want yeah. to it's on the outside. And, and today we're going to talk about getting that house uh, nice and clean on the outside and get that taken care of. Yeah, yeah, you know, because a lot of times that's all we need to do. We think we need to paint the house, we, uh-huh. you know, and stuff like that. And boy, you run a pressure washer over it. It's kind of like your deck, you know, if you've ever done a deck oh, yeah. and everything. Boy, that deck looks like it's maybe a total loss. Mm-hmm. And you, you pressure wash that and, you know, it, it's night and day difference. Yeah. And it'll do the same thing for the exterior of your house, uh, especially Especially if you've got, you know, primarily, especially if you've got like a metal siding or mm-hmm. you got a plastic siding, those tend to have little nooks and crannies in them and they just don't rinse very clean when mm-hmm. it rains, you yeah. know, and stuff. And and that's was, what was my next question is, is there... Is there any type of siding or, or paint or anything like that that I should not use a pressure washer on? I, I, the only thing that comes to mind, and we don't see too many of them, but shake shingled houses, mm-hmm. you know, on there, you'd want to be a little bit careful there, but and especially don't use anything that's got a very high pressure because mm-hmm. you could actually break some of those shake. Oh, shingles, I bet. You yeah. know, and you wouldn't want to do that. All right. So uh, yeah. if you've got the shake, and actually, uh, my home, I'll use an example. It's brick. Yeah. Uh, with the exception of the gables right up the very top, and then we've got shakes. Uh, mm-hmm. up there at the very top and they need they actually do need some pressure washing but yeah. uh, but the entire brick structure does too uh, and you talk about the velocity of the water coming out of the out of the uh, uh, pressure washer you know when you have a brick home and I, I pressure washed some bricks before if you use a high velocity on some types of bricks well you can you can scar it and make it look look pretty nasty so pretty you want to be bad. careful what you're doing here yes yeah very important and generally as a rule on all of your pressure washers that pressure's design is decided by the tip you're using mm-hmm. okay and the bigger the opening of the tip the less cutting pressure you're going to have or the fan you want it to fan out basically Mm -hmm. uh and uh, so you do want to know which one goes where and you know which you know like if come in and rent you know that this is an ideal place to rent Mm -hmm. you know on there i think on that now some people might have enough use to have one of them around the house and everything the only thing that you got to remember is if you got it around the house again you got to make dang sure that you keep stability in the gas tank yeah. or something mm-hmm. like that because it's not something you use all the time yeah right, right. otherwise that grass is going to varnish up on you and you're going to have yeah. problems starting that thing next the other time thing if you have a pressure washer what mm-hmm. i've learned is uh, a lot of the neighbors and your friends want to use it a lot yes so. yes <laughs> right yeah <laughs> and that's when you, you, you otherwise you're going to have to go out and you're going to have to pressure wash in the middle of the night so nobody <laughs> sees it <laughs> exactly because right it, it's never a good thing to loan to power tools yeah. or any type of tools yeah, it never <laughs> comes back in quite the same shape as what it left in so never does there are a couple different types of pressure washers that we have to choose from here and uh, yeah. now there is electric and there's gas powered but you're going to have some power to this as you're as you're putting forth that water now hydro mm-hmm. true value the just ask rental center what type of pressure washer do you guys no. rent or recommend yeah we've 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 got we carry it's a mighty m is a brand name of it mm-hmm. but it's a it's a it's a gasoline one i do not rent an electric one mm-hmm. and we have a couple of them and they're on little carts that you can pull around so they make it pretty handy to get it around the yard and everything around the outside of the house right. uh but now they'll go up to i think they're 3500 psi uh their maximum psi okay. uh on that and that'll handle just about anything that you need to do uh you're going to be more down in the 1800 1400 1800 psi is what you want to do to clean most houses houses yeah. the exterior of the houses uh that big high psi is actually for stripping paint and you know if you're right. just cleaning your house you don't want to be stripping <laughs> the paint off of it now you got yeah. a whole bunch of work honey to do. it looks good but it, it looks like we can paint now yeah. that's yeah, the uh, right. that's the problem so. exactly all right so am i when i get this pressure washer I, I i come in i rent the pressure washer i mm-hmm. i take it home i get it all gassed up i get it ready to go what what are the steps i mean 
I know there's people out there that are listening this morning that have never, ever pressure washed their house before. Right. And it's really not too difficult. So the first yeah. thing we want to do is rent the pressure washer. And the second is to get it home. And then what's kind of the next, kind of walk us through the next few okay. steps well, as to what first, we need to do. First of all, you want to check and make sure that you've got garden hose will reach Mm-hmm. basically because you're going to have you're going to have the garden hose length plus you're also going to have the length of the hose on the pressure washer right so you know generally as a rule there are 25 foot hose uh so you just want to make sure if you've only got one uh nozzle or one faucet outside of your house that you can get uh to all sides of your house from there okay on that if not you may need to go buy another length of garden hose okay. on that the the distance it gets away from the water is not really detrimental to the pressure washing of the unit you got to be able to develop or deliver water to the unit but it will stop if it if it doesn't get the water quick enough it will stop and you won't have any pressure for a little bit and you got to let it build back up again okay. and take off mm-hmm. on that but so that's the number one thing is make sure you got enough hose to get to where you're going to go okay. on that uh, then after that then what you want to do is you want to before you start anything up you go ahead and you screw your garden hose hook your garden hose up to the unit it's got a it's generally got a a female uh female end on garden mm-hmm. hose thread that just screws on to the very end of your garden hose uh don't turn on the water yet uh leave the water turned off but the one thing that you do want to remember whenever you're with either it's electric uh pressure washer or a gas pressure washer that you should have water running to it anytime that you're running the pump Okay. On that, because otherwise you dry dry run a pump, you can damage it. That's true. On that, yeah. so uh, you get get that all hooked up, release the air out of your hose and everything. Then you go back, turn on your water. Sometimes you need to release it one more time just so that it's easier to pull the the uh, motor over. Sure. Uh, if you're doing a gasoline operated one, uh, then then you pull that motor over uh, and. It's to start the unit you've got water to it you've got the engine running and everything so now you're ready to start pressure washing of course prior to that though we wanted to make sure we had the right nozzle there, yeah you yeah. know on that because anytime you're changing nozzles or mo- you know you need to have that unit turned off okay. on that because people don't understand but a pressure washer you get up in that higher ranges of the psis it can actually do some damage oh, to yeah. your body Boy, you know it. and everything yeah. it can inject water into you uh you know it's 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 pretty high powered stuff yeah. so, so we want to make sure we're very safe with with that now yes. uh we we get ready to uh to to pressure wash our house mm-hmm. um and we want to, because of that nozzle, when we select the nozzle that we're going to use, we want to test that. I'm going to guess somewhere that's, that somewhere not a lot of people of are going to be able to see. Somewhere kind of a way that's not going to so, be, yeah, yeah, not going to be real noticeable and everything. And, and I, I, they, they recommend that you start out about four foot away from the surface mm-hmm. uh, on that and br- or pass it back and forth over the surface. And if it cleans it. That's about where you need to stay at. If it doesn't, if your dirt's still a little bit heavier, then you want to walk in closer. Uh, try it at three foot away from the mm-hmm. unit, uh, away from what you're washing and everything. Then if you start getting really close and it's still not knocking it off, that's when you may want to say, okay, let's turn this thing off. Let's change and let's go to another tip All right. on that. And also, too, while we're talking about this, Larry, when you're using that pressure washer, it's going to be blowing all kinds of little debris around Mm -hmm. on that. So, and they're also noisy. They can be very noisy. So earplugs isn't a bad thing to have Mm -hmm. uh, when you're using one of these. Uh, Definitely eye protection is very, very important. And, you know, you can get by with the glasses, but goggles really keeps anything from blowing up around because you're, you know, if you're washing leaves off the side of your building, you know, off the side of the house and and dirt and crap like that, it can get into your eyes on that. So, So, all right. Especially if it's blowing a little bit when you're doing it. Gloves, should I, should I? Gloves are not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, they really aren't a bad idea to have because there again, if you would happen to have your hand in a place where it gets hit with a pressure washer, at least if you've got a glove, it's a lot harder for it to come through yeah. and get into your hand and hurt All right. your hand. So watch out. Another thing we might recommend is if you're going to be like me, I've got a two story house, so I'm going to have mm-hmm. to get up on a ladder to do some of this. Uh, I want to be careful about with my ladder when I'm when I'm going to be moving it around electrical poles, and then when I turn on the pressure, I want to be <laughs> careful that it knock me back off the ladder. Exactly, so. exactly. Now we've got uh, actually we have got a 
a a fiberglass telescoping handle. Oh well, then forget about the ladder. I'm yeah. going to get that. So yeah, I I tell you what, really, ladders and pressure washers really should not never meet okay. on that because you are right. That pressure when you if you've ever used a pressure when you go and pull it, you don't feel like it's pushing you back much on the ground. Right. But boy, when you're on a ladder. It can it could actually push you off that sure. ladder. So you know we do have a big fiberglass handle, and we got extension wands that'll go on to the the pressure washer too. Uh, now, if you had a lift or something like that, if you had to get up that far, mm-hmm. you're probably good to use right. a pressure washer up there, you okay. know, and everything. But I would I would be a little a little hesitant on a ladder. All right, so okay? we we will scratch the ladder. We yeah. won't worry about that right <laughs> now. So all right, so when I when I'm pressure washing, should the water take off just the water itself? Should that take off all the dirt and grime that's on the side of my house, or do I need to use something you, else? So. Sometimes it will. It depends upon how many years it's been since you've done it. Mm-hmm. Also depends if you've got that old mildew sitting around, yeah. too. Now, if you've got that, you've got to kill that surface. Right. Uh, now, two ways you can do it. You can take and mix a good uh, portion of uh, bleach and, and hot water and rub that on put that on with a a you know a cleaning brush right on that and scrub down the sides of the of the deal uh for mildew that's pretty much what you've got to do on that now if it's just dirt and you're it's not coming off with the pressure of the water and everything they we do have what they call chemical injectors that you hook up and you put in line on the pressure washer now People think that it should come out like the car wash does, you know, right. where you've got your soap and Smell everything. Smell like out. bubble gum and everything, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then you got all your soap coming out under pressure. Well, with a chemical injector, that doesn't happen. But what it does is it puts it all on the side of the house. You let it set there, and it's not under pressure. It's just spewing it out. Uh, then you let it set there and let it work on the siding of the house. Then you take your chemical injector out of the line, uh, and then you go and you pressure wash it off, and then oh, you should have okay. a good, clean side of the house. All right. So there is, there's a way to get it done. No matter how dirty and grimy it is, you've got a way it to get it will done. work, so. yeah. <laughs> All right. So is there a, uh, I'm going to start, uh, and I, should I, I sh- I'm assuming that I should stop, start at the top part of my wall on the outside of the house and work my way down. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then that way you're constantly washing down everything that you, you know, you're constantly washing all the dirt down away from where you've been at. All right. So start at the top, work your way down, and then you can step back and take a look at your home and think, wow, that really does look a lot better since yeah, I've, I've got that all washed up. it made a world of so. difference. Yeah. Is there, now... What about, is there cleaning up? I'm going to want to, uh, if I've got leaves and, and junk like that on the side of my house, I'm going to want to do a little raking, a little policing around the area to clean all that up when I'm done. Yeah, and, and the other thing, too, is if you have got if you do have mildew and you are using bleach mm-hmm. and you do have some ornamental plants and stuff right. like that around, it's a good time to put, you should put down a tarp over the top of those uh, shrubs and stuff, maybe even over the top of the grass, uh, mm-hmm. you know, on that, or, or make sure after you've washed down that bleach and everything that you take and really rinse that area, not with the pressure washer, yeah, yeah. okay, but with your garden hose and really dilute all that bleach yeah. out because it could do some damage to your lawn. Oh, yeah. It could definitely do some damage to your ornamentals. Yeah, and your, and your jeans and all the other things you're yeah, going to be wearing yeah, when you got right. on out there. So, exactly right. Yeah, so you want to watch out what you're doing when it comes to a pressure washer. You can rent that pressure washer at Just Gas Rental, which is right next Store to Hydrix True Value, and uh, how what how long can I rent that for if I come in? Can we I get got, it for a whole day or can I get it for just a couple hours? You can get it for a four hour. We have a four hour rate on it. And then wow. we have a day rate, a 24 mm-hmm. hour rate on it. Uh, but, you know, I always tell people, I say, you know, you might want to consider the four the 24 hour rate then if you get done in four hours bring it on back but you, this is one area you don't want to it can get dangerous if you try to rush the job sure. mm-hmm. uh, but it's also an area that i tell you what you start cleaning things and you say man boy that that's your i i've got all that uh, patio furniture over there i, I need to clean it off yeah. before you know it hey heck you've got everything in the house cleaned <laughs> up you know and everything it's it's one of those things that just keeps snowballing yeah and you know rolling. the last time i i had the pressure washer out and i was i was working on some things i just kind of just for fun just kind of shot it at the sidewalk out in front of the house in that little bit of area that i hit was it's so it nice. looked it looked brand new. Yeah. So I, I spent another hour doing nothing but cleaning the sidewalks around the house and and boy did they look 
I, they looked absolutely brand new when I got done. Right. Or your driveway where you've got yeah. grease and stuff like that. If the car's dripped and stuff, you know, it, you can get that all cleaned off. Uh, it, it, it does. Like I say, it, it's one of those things that you just keep going a little bit farther. You do more than what you thought yeah. you were going to do when you get it on. That's one of the tools. Now, we don't recommend it for pets or uh, no, spouses no. or things like yeah, that. Right. But, yeah. you, know, there, you get a lot of other things out there with the uh, with the power washer. <laughs> uh, can I can I reserve the tools? Yeah, absolutely. Because especially on sun, on the weekends uh-huh. and everything, uh, that's when the pressure washers get go out oh, the yeah. most. Mm-hmm. So make sure, give us a call Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we'll make a reservation for you, and that way it'll be waiting for you when you get ready. Uh, uh, to to do it, yeah. and you're you're set to go. You don't have All to worry right. about coming in and saying, "I'm sorry, I don't have any left right now." Yeah, uh, we're talking to Denny Hydrick from Hydrick's True Value and the best little home improvement show in the four states. So, spending our Saturday morning just talking about some things you can do around the home, talking about pressure washing your home and making it look so much better when you get all said and done with it. And Denny, we talked about that tool being over there, and you know, here it is. It's Saturday, and I've got some free time on my hands. Is there any other tools that or equipment that you got in there that I could come in and maybe get the, we, today to we help can out? get you fixed up no, yeah. no matter what you want to do i've got some uh, i've got a, a real cool little deal called a toro dingo that uh, is a little mini skid steer that you ride ah. on the back end of it and okay. uh, you know you can get in it's got tracks on it so you know it, it's easy on the yard you're not mm-hmm. tearing up your grass with it like you do with a, a big skid sure. steer uh and it's got a lot of different attachments to it that you can use a post hole auger you've got a stump you need to get rid of got wow. a stump grind for it uh and it's That's got awesome. buckets so if you've got uh, a whole bunch of dirt or something that you want to move around uh-huh. or gravel for your driveway and stuff this is a ideal little tool wow okay and right. it's fun it's yeah. a lot of fun i was gonna to say use. it might be fun just to rent and play around just to with, play so. around with yeah. all right if exactly. I, and if i'm going to be doing some things with my yard this weekend yep uh, boy you've got it, it starts from the very beginning you got everything i need right there core aerators lawn cedars over yeah. cedars we got uh power rakes, uh, all of that stuff. And yeah. I've even got a great big old weed mower if you've got a uh-huh. pasture that's, or a, 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 a lot, a, a lot that's covered. Up, yeah. yeah, right, that's uh-huh. cleaned up. This baby will cut about about an inch and about an inch and a quarter Good night. trees it'll actually cut them off we might be we might be playing with that this yeah. is for the days <laughs> over today so and when it's all said and done guess what you've got everything from snow cone makers to popcorn machines to uh the margarita maker yeah there. Yeah, so, mar- yeah, yeah 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 after you uh, schedule a whole day of cleaning up and everything like that and you then rent that, mar- that margarita machine afterwards <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do it yeah. that's just gas rental that's inside uh hydrous true value located at 15th and national and to Today, if you want to rent, the rental center is open until 6 o'clock Until 6 so. o'clock on Saturdays, and yeah. then we're open 1 to 5 on Sundays. Yeah, boy, you, you know. can't make it any easier than that. The great thing I love about Hydrix True Value, I can go in with a project, and maybe I'm a little stymied as to what I need to do. There's always someone there that has the professional advice that can tell me exactly what tool I need and what I need to do to make it look like a professional stepped in and did that job, and that's something that I yeah. can't put a price tag on. No, yeah, and, and you get the satisfaction of doing it yourself. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, on that and everything, so a lot of value to that i think absolutely we encourage you to get in hydrix true value 15th and national give them a call right now if you want that pressure washer give them your number okay it's uh two two uh six two oh two two three twenty six sixty all right say i need that pressure washer i need my house to look good and denny we uh and coming soon we'll have actually have a website too that you can go to and make a reservation request wow, on right. the website yeah okay yeah. so you can do that as you'll be able to do that soon as well they're getting We're hoping high tech by the end of march we'll all have right. that all up and running by the end of march and just a yep. reminder coming up on april 30th i, I got it laid on my desk now it's the garden party at Hydrix yes. true value so yes absolutely and it is always amazing at the deals and all the things that you've got there with all the live plants and uh the flowers and everything it's it's just amazing so, it's a lot of fun yeah it's Fun. And, and you guys from the radio station make it even more fun. Yeah, well, we're going to be there. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be a lot of fun. That's on April the 30th. But uh, get in there, get the power washer rented uh, or some of the other get all that, that work you're done need. first. Get that done, you're ready to go on April the 30th. And Denny, as always, we sure appreciate you taking the time to come in this morning. I, I enjoy it. Thank you. you. Denny Heydrich, our guest this morning on the Vessel Home Improvement Show in the Four States.